yes hello guys welcome to the channel once again before watching this amazing piece i want to introduce you guys to an important book that you must read if you are an actually if you want to know much more detail about our tradition our culture you must read this book check it out this is a book written by uh mego maliam lakara beokelo actually machon and by the way if you want to read this book you must be an actually you must be a law you must know a Choli language the piece the book goes for twenty five thousand shillings as you can see in the bottom there or twenty dollars guys or you can give more to do you can donate more to mabel she's right there look at her All right, so guys, Juba City, so beautiful. Juba City is one of the best cities I've ever been to, guys. This city, first impression, is is a an hospital uh, city. It's really important that you visit Juba City if you want to enjoy life, guys. Juba is lively day and night. Juba is so. Oh my God, I don't know how to. To say it out but Juba City is a must visit guys so let's take a look at this video the easiest way you can get through Juba City Juba is the capital and the largest city of South Sudan the city is situated on the White Nile and also serves as the capital of the center of Equatorial state it is the world's newest capital city to be elevated as such and had a population of 525,953 people in 2017 and it has an area of 52 kilometers square with a metropolitan area cover of 336 kilometer square. Juba was established in 1920 to 21 by the Church Missionary Society in a small Bari village as called Juba. The city was made as the capital of Mongala province in the late 1920s. The growth of the town accelerated following the signing of the Comprehensive Peace Agreement in 2005 which made Juba the capital of the autonomous government of South Sudan. Juba became the capital of South Sudan in 2011 after its independence.
it was not my first time to be in Juba. It was my sixth time being in Juba City. But oh, my experience is always an amazing experience, guys, because there is that juice at Aizara, guys. Aizara. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's Aizara. They told me it's Aizara. This is just that juice, guys. That fresh juice with ice. So thanks for watching. Please let me know how you feel about Juba City in the comment section. But don't forget to buy this book, Acholi Machon. This is uh, written in Acholi. It's uh, it's 175 page book. It's 175 page book. If you read from page one to the last page, guy, family, brother, you learn Acholi tradition. You'll know the cultural values and you'll, you'll get to know why you are an Acholi, why you must be an Acholi, yeah? But the problem is you must be an Acholi because it's written in Luo or Acholi. <laughs> but thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned, watch, subscribe and like our videos. Stay blessed. God bless you.